Hi, it's Brenton with ETF Trends and ETF Database. Today I'm joined by Mark Carlson, Senior Investment Strategist with FlexShares Exchange Traded Funds. Mark, last week the Federal Reserve reiterated and clarified its policy announcement indicating rates would stay pinned at zero at least through 2023. What implication does this have for the mortgages market? Well, uh, one of the implications of the decline in interest rates and the return of the Federal Reserve to a sustained zero interest rate policy has been a surge in mortgage refinancing as homeowners look to take advantage of low rates. Uh, we've seen prepayment speeds on existing mortgages accelerate since the initial COVID-19 shock and the MBS market is seeing very high prepayments across the coupon stack in origination years. August prepayment reports from the agencies on MBS pools created just recently in 2019 show very high annualized prepayment rates totaling over 30%. With 10 year and shorter treasury yields down over 100 basis points year over year, it makes perfect sense for most homeowners to refinance. Probably the only mitigating factor holding back refinancing activity is the fact that the mortgage origination system is operating pretty much at full capacity. The industry is making advances in using technology and data to speed up the process, and then it's busy hiring more personnel. However, the fallout from the substandard underwriting and documentation performance during the credit bubble, which then contributed to the great financial crisis, the originating and mortgage servicing institutions are now making sure to dot every I and to cross every T to avoid any future legal fallouts. You know, these refinancing actions in the market have in turn led to a sharp rise in MBS supply to the tune of uh, roughly $322 billion in August alone, a new monthly record. And despite this record rise, the Federal Reserve and other banks and institutions have absorbed the supply supporting the asset class. The Federal Reserve continues to buy in the open market operations up to $200 billion per month as part of its policy framework to, quote, sustain market functioning and to help foster accommodative financial conditions. Meanwhile, the banks and other institutions holding records amount of cash and deposits are turning to agency mortgages to earn higher income. And the sector is likely to attract more individual investors over time as the attraction of a premium yield over treasury proves just too hard to ignore. Great, some really good points there. So what are some of the concerns investors should be aware of when investing in the mortgages MBS space? Well, obviously the health of the overall housing market is something to pay attention to. While broadly the housing market has rebounded from the recent lows reached during the height of the pandemic, markets are keeping an eye on the potential for additional stimulus and ongoing loan forbearance policies that are continually supporting homeowners. The housing market has been resilient and the amount of loans and forbearance have steadily been declining, currently sitting at their lowest levels since April. With regards to investing in MBS, one of the key risks associated with mortgages that many investors understate is prepayment risk and its impact on durations and returns. As mortgage rates move lower, and at some point in the future, we must assume that they will move higher, prepayment assumptions increase or decrease as rate rise, which lower effective durations, and actually as they raise effective durations when in a rising rate environment. This is known as duration contraction extension risk. As duration is the most important factor for predicting returns in fixed income, managing the duration of an investor's fixed income portfolio is critical. The current most pressing challenge for investors is reinvestment risk. As loans are refinanced at lower rates, prepayments accelerate, and the principal is returned to MBS investors who are then facing reinvesting those proceeds at lower current rates and potentially longer durations, lowering their cash income flow stream while possibly adding more interest rate risk to their portfolio. Given expectations that this ultra low rate environment will continue for that foreseeable future, how can investors focus on maintaining their income stream? Well, uh, agency MBS, that's uh, MBS from Ginny Mae, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac offer an attractive income risk solution versus treasuries and short-term corporate credit, offering a premium over the risk-free rate for similar credit risk and can be used as a tool to reduce credit risk versus corporates 
with only a slight reduction in potential yields. With the five-year treasury yielding less than 30 basis points, investors can source additional income while taking on a marginal amount of credit risk with the MBS yielding on average roughly 135 basis points. Investors do need to be mindful of duration risk with their MBS investments. One key difference during this ZERP environment versus the post great financial crisis is the change in the Federal Reserve's approach to inflation uh, in its dual mandate. At the September FOMC meeting, the Fed affirmed a policy to allow inflation to run hot after periods of under 2%. This means that the Fed will be less likely to raise rates in the face of inflation, meaning the yield curve could steepen as investor in inflation expectations rise and nominal yields are pushed higher out the curve. This rate movement would have negative total return implications for MBS and MBS durations would likely lengthen as the refinancing pace eventually runs out of steam and prepayments slow to more historic levels. With these opportunities and challenges, the FlexShares Discipline Duration MBS Index Fund, ticker MBSD, is designed to constrain the portfolio around a 3.75 year duration with a 50 basis point upper and lower duration band. MBSD affords investors the greater potential income of MBS while reducing the major risk of duration, extension, and contraction risk associated with the changing environment for mortgage prepayments. Mark, great insights as always. We appreciate your time. Looking forward to catching up again with you soon. Thank you.